Welcome to the Electroplating Company Job Card Program. First we will go into the Job Card section and go into the Procedures and Times database. This is a simple database that contains the description of the procedure or time it takes the procedure to run. Time entries are preceded by a percent sign, so the job card program will know that it's a, a time description when building the job card. We can select any of these entries in the list box that will pull up on the data entry box that says procedure or time. Now we will go back to the job card section and go, in, go into the actual job card screen itself where we will enter a new job card. Okay, I just typed in the customer name Next I will go to description and enter that. Now part number. Now barrel or rack. Now material. Now finish. Now I have to type in a password for altering the job card. Now I will click the OK button to save it. Now I'm going to pull up the job card we just entered by clicking the job number button that will pull it up by the job card number I selected. Now I'm going to start building the job card details section of the job card. To do that I will go into the procedures pick list Pick a procedures pick list description. Now I'm going to highlight the line number that I'm going to add it to. I highlight one. There are as many as 40 detail lines per job card. Now I'm going to click the add button next to procedures pick list. This will add the procedure to line one of the job card. I forgot to put in my password for altering the job card. I'll do that now. Now I'll click add again and copper rinse is on line one. Now I've highlighted line one again and I'm going to add 15 minutes for the time. Now I've highlighted line one again and I'm going to add a second procedure for line one. I just call it second procedure for line one. Then I will click the second procedure button. Now I'm going to add some more um, detail lines to the job card.
Now I will pull up the job card we've been modifying by customer name and to do that I click the customer button moving from the top of the list to the bottom of the list. Now let's say I made a mistake and I would like to insert detail line 3 before detail line 2. To do that, first I have to type in my password. Now I come here and say insert line 3 before line 2 and then click go. And it's done. Now if I want to preview the job card, I move up here and I click the preview button. And this is what the job card print preview looks like. If I want to print it, I would click the print button which displays the print dialog box that precedes the printout. Now if I want to run a part report by customer, which in this case is Everwood Corporation, I click the part report button. And this lists all the job cards for Everwood Corporation, which in this case is job card number five. Now from this screen, if I want, I could preview or print another job card. So if I type in job card one, and I click the preview button. There is job card one for Acme Company. And likewise, if I click the print icon, it will print job card one or whatever job card number I have in this little box. And as before, this printer button will display a print dialog box that precedes the printout of the um, part number report by customer. Now if I want to search again by say customer since I've already searched by that, I click the reset button. And I pick a different customer, in this case, Aero Company. And I click the customer going forward button. And that pulls up another job card, which I can preview. This is job card number four. Now if I want to search or print preview a job card searching by part number and customer, I pick my customer, which in this case is Aero Company, then I type in my part number and click search by part and customer, and again it previews the job card printout for job card number four for Aero Company with part number ABC. Now I click my reset button. Now let's say I want to search for a job card with part number XYZ. I just type in my part number there, right here. Then I go to part number, and click that, and it pulls up job card number one. Then I click reset button. Now 
if I want to pull up a jar, job card number by barrel or rack, I typed in barrel right here. So I click the barrel button, and that pulls up job card number one. Now if I type in rack and click reset, and hit the barrel button, it pulls up job card number two, which has rack instead of barrel. Click the reset. Now if I click gold for material, and I click the material button, it pulls up job card number one. If I click brass, and click the material button, that pulls up job card number three. Reset. Now if I click the finish button for finish equals shiny, that pulls up number three. If I do it for finished equals is smooth, that pulls up job card number one. Now if I want to remove a selected detail line, let's say in job card number one, now if we print preview this, we have gold plate, plate it completely 10 minutes, then hang on racks, let dry for 25 minutes. Let's say I want to get rid of this hang on racks description, which is detail line number two. So I highlight line number two and I click remove selected detail line. Oops, I have to type in my password, keep forgetting. Okay, remove selected detail line. Okay, it's gone. We print preview, and that's off the job card. And there's some extraneous buttons here, which we won't get into. Find missing duplicate job card numbers, find duplicate parts, add new procedure or time. And uh, these search buttons here, if you want to pull up a job card by uh, customer and description or customer and barrel or rack or customer and material or customer and finish. You would just pick your customer and your finish material or barrel or rack or description and click the search button and it would scroll to the job card you need. So if I pick Acme Company, let's say I pick Rack, let's see if this will work. Click, no, click Reset, Barrel, Acme Company and Barrel, click Search. There, pulls up job card number one. Now let's say I pick Everwood Corporation and I click Copper. So we're looking for a job card for Everwood Corporation with material copper. Pulls up number five. Reset. So let's say we're looking for a job card with Ajax Company and we want finish of shiny. That pulls up job card number three. And that is basically it for the workings of the job card program.